Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome to episode 2 of another Brick in the Ball. You guys seem to love the first episode so much, we're back with a second episode and if you want to see a third one or a complete series, then make sure you let me know in the comment section down below and smash that like button too. Now last episode we left off with our very very basic grocery store at the moment. We're trying super hard to tick things along and uh... Uh, we just unlocked the cold chain too, so we could get more uh, kind of grocery store based stuff like fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, fish, dairy, milk, which is pretty cool. Which is really going to open us up now to try and make more money as we try and offer more variety. Now, we had a little bit of an issue trying to figure out uh, the best way in which we can sort out the working schedules. And over the night time, we have two people working, we, have, we always have two people on at any given time. I'm thinking, probably not ideal to have two people working at night because we have no not that many customers. So is it possible with the local folios, the store here, and the staff, we get the biggest wave of people here, as you can now see. So if I pick the cashier who's currently working right now, and we change their hours... Um, hang on, we've got, we got two here, so two there. We change their hours, so we pick this person to maybe come in about here and this person start a little bit earlier this person start not a little bit later but we can play around with this one like that and we'll see if we can tear through that it'll be interesting it would be interesting worst case scenario we hire a fourth person but I mean, I'm trying to turn a profit at this point I feel like the current time right now, which is 4 a.m. So it's got a nice little wave of people coming in, but no one's really here, are they? Um, but anyway, I want to try now then and sort out some of these shelves then. So can I add new stuff to it? What goes on this new shelf uh, for the certain stuff? So right, let me let me sort this out. So we've got refrigerators, we've got tables. I'm looking for the stuff. Okay, it's the tables that do fresh fruits and veg and bread. So I'm thinking I actually need to kind of get rid of certain stuff. So if I kind of just go through this. And because I want to sort it out properly. So if we do food, that's doing. We we'll get it all to do um, candies. Because we're going to expand the store and add more stuff in. So if we just make sure that everything's doing what I want it to do. And it's best we do it now. before anything else so this should be cereal cereal and we have to wait for our kind of clerk to come in to sort it all out uh, this will be snacks 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 and then we should have cookies uh, cookies should go I can already tell that's cookies there that is then after cookies sliced bread sliced bread and where is it sliced bread so they all have the same thing so we're gonna add more and more stuff in if i'm going to build tables fresh bread uh, fresh vegetables and fresh fruits so if we rotated this um so we'll place one two three four five no let's cancel that one How do I cancel? <laughs> um, oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. So we got four there. I'm going to build some more on the other side. So build objects. So we need almost like a set of two. So if I rotated this, because the door's there, and I did like that, to kind of close this area off a little bit. We have clothing racks, refrigerators. Which does the actual... For groceries. Is it this shelf? I'll place one of these shelves down. 
on the hope that we can do the groceries on that. Because I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. But I'll replace one down anyway and see what happens. Anyway, fast forward then. Get our builder in. Our store clerk now is coming into... Or the cleaner's kind of getting rid of the trash. But we're kind of all, <coughs> all pretty much all over the place right now. So we've got this set up then. Manage. Oh no, we can actually get the fresh... No, fresh fruit and veg there. What am I talking about with the other shelf then? I don't actually know. Right. Fresh fruits there. Fresh veg. Veg. And over here, bread. It's like the little bakery section over here. Bread. So what was the thing I just researched then? There was... Uh, oh, meat and fish, milk and dairy. So milk and dairy should come from this. Yeah, it all comes in there. Got you. Gotcha! See, this is a learning process for me as well, guys. Right, get rid of that. And I'm going to keep that little space in there because it will be handy for future cash registers. But yeah, people are now starting to come in and we've got three people, look, like, three cashiers working at, at the moment. Alright, so the shelves are being stocked right now, which is perfect. So more goods we can now sell. Which is amazing. And uh, I wonder if we can now eventually turn a profit. <laughs> I mean, there's more things for them to pick up and now buy. So that's a bonus. Right? Well, I hope so. Uh, there's rats, which the builder should come in and sort that out. But obviously, that's going to take a negative effect on us right now. Um, but there was something else we could have unlocked, isn't it? Yeah, we could do bars, restaurants, coffee shops. So I think we should open up a coffee shop next to the store. Before we like do anything else, um, do you reckon that's the best one to do? It's, I mean, it's not as ridiculous as any of anything else. So, um, coffee. Yeah, let's go for a coffee shop first. That should be pretty cool. I feel like I want to expand the store a little bit as well. Get some more stuff in. That should be pretty good. Um, yeah, let's give it a little expansion. It depends how much it's going to be, though, doesn't it? So, foundations. If I was to go back a bit more, twenty-eight thousand. Let's go by six, twenty-four thousand. Let's go up to that. So we expand a little bit more on the store. Uh, try our hardest to kind of squeeze more products in and do more sales. Because we can get a lot more refrigerator stuff down, which should theoretically make us a lot of money too. We've only got one person working now, then, and we've got quite a bulk of people here. So it doesn't fall right something right now. So. Who comes in at like zero hundred hours? You there? Okay, right. We should technically have someone working right now, like two people. There we go. The second person's now here. Right, I think we've masterminded it. Potentially. So where's the builders at then? The builder should come in today at some point. Uh, maintenance office, uh, staff, builder. We've only got one builder. He starts at nine. Well, let's hire another builder. So one starts at nine. 15 hour shifts. 15 hour just. Well, we don't need to be that high because that's where we're wasting money. We kind of figured it out last time, didn't we? And then one, one can start a little bit later in the day. Right, is the building taking place right now? We've got so many rats we've got to get rid of as well. Come on, builders. Where are you right now? All right, builders are arrived. I think they're going to focus going to focus on doing the building work first. Instead of getting rid of the rats. And if anything right now, we're still losing more money than ever. Which once I've done these expansions and we got more products to sell, we can really try and figure out what's going on. Okay, he's now getting rid of some of the rats. Which is good to see. 
So goodbye, rats. Build objects. So let's get some of these shelves in then. So we can actually fit three in. One, two, three. So pretty much three of all the other products. Well, let me pause for a second. Because I'm thinking of a way here to kind of create that walkway. So one. Yeah, I want to do that like that. Right, let's uh, remove these. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to get six in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it, 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 it falls a little bit short there, but that's okay. Because we have some of these going across anyway. And we can fit three in there. So refrigerators, turn that as well. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. Right, it's a lot more stuff now in the store that we're going to be able to sell. Which I'm quite excited about to get in. So the boat goes through, gets them placed all down. No, 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 nice. And let's get this sorted then. So this one, um, we we'll start with food. Go sauces and seasonings. Um, this, oh, did not. It's not. Wait, what? Oh, gotcha. Expand the local folios. I was wondering what was happening for a second. So food, we got drinks up there. But okay, so food, we'll do um, sauce and seasonings, rice and pasta. This is the perfect grocery store. Tea and coffee. We've got pet food. I'll only do two shelves because we've done three for those. UK crisps. And then we've got beverages. We could do... Let's do, okay, do Coca-Cola. Let's do Diet Coke on that one. Coke Zero, Sprite, we have Fanta, and we've got three remaining. Okay, we can get, okay, we do liquor, beer, and wine. I'm just going to get them in for, just for the sake of selling them so we can make money. And then when we start making some serious money, that's when we have like the own individual like designated stores. Okay, so let's start over here then. So we do milk milk dairy dairy uh, fresh meat fresh meat fish fish and the last one beverages we'll go with let's go beer that should be a, it could be a good profit margin you never know so we gotta wait for our store clerk to come in the next day and start restocking the shelves and then we can start to gauge if we can make him more money. Because at this point now, when you come in, we've literally got every variety that we can offer to them. So they can pick up more stuff and put into their pockets. Obviously, once the store has been stocked. That's the only thing I can really say to this. Okay, are they... Oh, no, this is the cleaner. Okay, the store clerk's now in. Stocking all the shelves. they got a lot to do. <laughs> a lot of stuff they're going to throw in right now. But that's what I pay them for. That's what I pay them for. Alright, so the queues are now starting to build up. That's when the third person comes into play. And we can start processing people through the cashier register so much quicker. We're down to minus 300. We've sold 20 different types of products. Nice. That's a nice little gold to complete. An extra 10,000. We're getting very low. We could turn a profit. Oh, we're getting close. Look at it. Like minus 20. Yeah, we made profit. <laughs> we're making profit. It's a cow. I mean, that profit's not going to last long once you pay like wages and stuff like that. But we're turning a profit for the first time ever. This is amazing. Oh, man. I'm so happy right now. I'm so excited. And the shop is not fully stocked up, too. So this is where we have to like sort out another second um, stock clerk. So, right, let's hire another stock clerk. Speed. Okay. Ooh. 
Sociability, that's nice. So this one comes in at 7, finishes at 15. This one can come in at 15 and finish at that time, which sh should be fine. So we have two coming at different times. Profits over 500 in that day. Nice. I mean, we've gone down to minus because we paid some bills off. That progression is amazing. So there's the clerk here that is restuck in the shell. So at least there's there's almost someone in all the time. And then it comes down to one person on the evening. This is perfect. Right, how far are we off now completing the coffee shop? Not too far. We can get a nice little coffee shop next door. Try and earn some more money. This is pretty dope, isn't it, guys? This is pretty dope. We, we're getting somewhere. We're finally getting somewhere. I feel like in it. Oh, okay. The queues are starting to build up, but we should have a, another um, cashier coming soon. There we go. The second cashier now in. Start destroy. Oh, we might need to get the third one in. Right, the third one's now in. But them queues are building up, boys. I think we're starting to get a little bit of a reputation. What's going on here? Ah, oh, the products have, have, have expired. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. Alright, so this might be where we need to hire or get the fourth cashier. We, we're turning a profit. We're turning a profit, boys, but, you know. Can we get, like, a, oh, a self-checkout? 10,000. Okay, that'll be handy. But until then, we're going to get another one in. And we're going to hire another cashier. And we need to sort his hours out now. So, um, we want him to come in. Um, I think they're as good as, as the wave starts to ride. Keep her there. No. Trying to mess with it too much. Right, we keep it like that. And we should have a fourth one incoming at, uh, at the, the high point. But we've turned a profit, man. This is crazy. Once we get the south checkouts in, then that should ease a lot of the tensions. Well, not tensions, but like it should ease a lot of the strain it puts on the cashiers. But I'd rather have this than not enough customers, if that makes sense. So we've researched now a coffee shop. Perfect. So we can actually create one. Um, the next thing we could move on to research is, I mean, what? What? There's a thing that we can check out. I kind of. Oh, we got missed sales opportunities. Parking. Oh, we can build some more parking. I mean, the, the car park's gonna get, start to get a little bit crazy, isn't it? Right. Road work. Um, customer parking. There we go. Let's get these little spots all added in. But we we'll get some staff only parking here so customer parking it's only 300 a pop there we go so there's a lot in there for customer parking but we can get more people in the store it will make the, 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 the queues a lot longer but it is what it is where do we go to unlock the south checkout so monitor, uh, store uh, sales monitoring allows the automatic monitoring of sales which you can review on the demand menu and then that would eventually leave into self checkout, but we also need security as well. So let's get those up and running because that's going to like benefit us hugely if I can get some self checkouts set up. Um, right, statistics. So statistics. This is pack okay. We're going to kind of find out the sales numbers. We can see profit, net profit is is boosting quite a bit, which is good. The demand. Oh yeah, we can't do anything until we've got that or anything else set up. So let's get that kind of rocking and rolling. If I was to expand this store, it's gonna be pushed back anyway. So it'll be it's reasonable now for me to build a store right next door to it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let's build. Oh, what's going on over here then? So I oh, miss more miss sales opportunities. Again, it all comes down. Right. Manage. I'm not hiring another cashier. So what time is it now? It's late on the evening. There we go. Oh, that's a per it comes dips down. That's perfect there. Well, it feels perfect anyway. Yep. 
Yeah, that felt perfect. Okay. Right, we got nearly 100,000 in the bank, so money's going up. Uh, I want to get some foundations down. So... Okay, so let's build it. Should we go... Uh, let's go for a 12 by 12. I don't know how big a coffee shop needs to be. But we'll, we'll, we'll see over time. How's the builder getting along over here? He's got a lot of work to do as well. A lot of work to do. So here is ticking along quite nicely. Um, as we just continue to try and make or uh, turn a profit, which we, we, we do. We turn a profit quite easily now. It's pretty cool. And the second cashier comes into play. Tear through those queues. And then as I start to build up, the third cashier comes into play. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? And these queues start to build up now, and I think it's not far off until the fourth one comes into play. There we go. And tear through the queues again, and we're like over $600 in profit. <clears throat> yeah, $800 in profit. Oh man, make 2,000 total sales. Yes, boys. So th there isn't really a need for a coffee shop just yet. But we'll get it soon. Again, missed sales opportunities. We're trying our best. We're trying our best for this. This is why we need the self checkouts. But we'll keep it. It's better to have the demand than no demand. Um, okay, so to finish up all the car parking anyway. We're now going to be looking at setting up the little coffee shop next door. Yeah, missing more sales again. Oh, they're knocking down the wall. Oh, man, I forgot about that. Some people have read in the face that they're that angry that they've had to wait so long. <laughs> Damn, boy, you need to calm down. So, it's, oh, turn 2,000 daily profit. That's amazing. Guys, we're making some sweet cash right now. It's mainly all from <laughs> the rewards that we're getting. Right, so let's get to build then. So we kind of need to um, add in the wall back. Um, okay, so objects for the door. The coffee shop. Ooh, okay, so we've got some good stuff there. But let's get like a double door in. Right in the center is a pretty cool spot. Uh, let's put them into play mode. And coffee shop. Can I, oh, I need to designate the room, don't I? So assign the... Where's the coffee shop? Oh, sales monitoring is now done. Let me go to research menu. So, to get self checkout, we need to also research security. Unlocks the anti thief detection system. Let's get that done. Okay, so coffee shop. We'll just drop there. So, build the coffee shop here. So, we have the coffee shop counter, we have the order counter. Okay. Is that all it needs to go into it? It pretty much is, isn't it? So, a calf table. So what's the difference? Coffee shop counter, order counter? I don't know which way this is meant to go either. Um, I don't fully know. I suppose we'll find out. But if I place that up there, and then we had the cafe tables, like starting over here, like one there, one there. And kind of see how it went. We'll see how it goes. It's just one of those things you just don't, I, I don't know until I do it. <laughs> Look at the queues right now, it's crazy. Right, okay. So, requires a cashier, requires a stockist, uh, requires order counters. Oh, okay, so it does require an order counter. Oh, is that where, um, I'm trying to think, like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't go into coffee shops often. Oh, build. But, um. 
take it that's like where you order the yeah you order the coffee. Well, yeah, it would be where you order the coffee. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um. Oh, we've got two in there. I'm trying to see if there, like pretty much anything we could block things up with. I mean, we could just build walls. There and there, but... Hmm. Well, they're in. So we got those. We need a store. It requires a storage for it. Like, all good places require storage. I feel like I want to redo this. I haven't done this right, if that makes sense. Okay, remove all the objects. We'll redo it, because I've got, I got an idea for it. So I, I, now I realize we need to build... Like, they all each need to have their own individual stock rooms and stuff like that, don't they? So, with that said, if we build some foundations, for example, just here... Or, no, actually, just get the full hog there. We can create like a little uh, storeroom at the back of it. That'll be handy. So why that's happening, let's go back to the coffee shop. We'll get the order counters down right now. So let's rotate you. We have one there, one there. And I'm still not 100% on what this is. Right, let me, uh... I'll place this down first. Where do I want the stock room to be? So I can't really do a lot with this. Right. Let's place this here. And then the order counters. One there. One there. And that creates that line behind. Uh, cafe tables. We'll start with placing... Um, some up here. Okay, so food court... Calf tables, diner tables. I'm not exactly sure which ones we want to go with. Right, one, two. We'll do one, two. One, two. And then we'll, we'll wait for the rest of the space to work with before we place anything else down. Who would have thought this was so complex? Let's go to the coffee shop then. It, again, it requires the uh, the storage. I don't know I don't know whether it can use this delivery system over here for it too. I don't fully understand that one. But uh, walls anyway. Let's get a little st stock room set up. So we'll bring that down to here and across. We'll get a little staff door on it. Just there. So then we want to assign the coffee shop to there. To there. We want to get a little storage set up for it. And then we're going to manage... Into manage of the uh, coffee shop there uh, zone. So link storage to that one. So the storage has been linked. Um, coffee shop then will rename. We call it Starfalls instead of Starbucks. <laughs> so Starfalls coffee shop. Uh, okay, so it opens. Can we have it open really early and close really late? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So staff, we're going to have to... Okay, so the coffee shop is being treated as if it was something else. It's not what I'm trying to think of it is, where you just go and get your drink and sit down. There's, there's an actual waiter you can hire. Uh, but I don't know if we actually need one. So hire a stock clerk anyway. We're going to uh, hire a cashier. We'll hire two cashiers to begin with. And we'll change the duration of it. We'll open up at six. So both cashiers can come in at six. And if we make them I don't I don't want to make them work. Okay, look, okay, this one can come in. So if you start at six, eight hours you finish at two. Okay, we'll close at ten. So open at six. 
close at 10. Just so we can get like a, a feel for how for how this kind of place is going to work, if that makes sense. We'll see. So, okay, right. Let's get some of the other stuff set up for it too then. So we need to do place floor tiles. Which ones have we used for the outside here? I can't remember. It's this one, isn't it? Boom. 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 Um, okay, build objects. We'll get uh, some trash cans. Oh, we can't do anything until they're placed down. But I feel like that's all we've got to do, right? That's a lighter colour. No, there's no wrong. <laughs> right, build floor. It's this one. Also, why is this not open? So manage the star falls. Am I waiting for tomorrow for it to open? I don't know <laughs> if I'm meant to be. Uh, let's go to storage and star falls. Okay, let's go. I want to add in some nice little decorations and stuff as well. But the shop. Okay, there we go. One person's now working. So we're open, but nobody's coming just yet. So we've invested a nice chunk. Oh, there we go. I want to see how this works. Okay, they're waiting a while. Why are they waiting a while? Have I missed something in the coffee shop? I feel like the coffee shop is missing other stuff. Like, where's the machinery? Machines. Like, I, I get that feeling I'm missing something. Right, okay, manage. It could be the waiter. Hire a waiter. Let's let me just see if the waiter does anything. Obviously, it's a little bit too late now. So I have to wait for the next day. But I'm going to hire a second waiter as well. It could be that. It could be that. <laughs> I don't fully know how this works. Right, get rid of all this. I understand the issues. Right, coffee store is now closed. It's the grocery... 3,000 in sales! The grocery store is killing the game right now. So what seems to be the light bulb idea right now? It's still the fast food restaurant that is the big hot shot right now. In terms of non-retail. Speciality store, video game. Uh, and a toy store too would be good. Uh, we need more. Yeah, we again. We we're working really hard on unlocking the self checkout. So we're trying. Ah, oh, I think we're waiting for stock. Was that what we was waiting for? Here's a waiter just hanging around. We'll wait till someone comes in next. Yes, perfect. Right, do I need the waiter then, or is the waiter a waste of money? We sold diff 40 different types of products. I feel like the waiter is a waste at the moment, aren't they? So, let's fire the waiter. Oh my goodness me, look at the grocery store right now. <laughs> oh, what is going on, boys? But hopefully we can build up the uh, reputation for the coffee shop, though. We have never meet. We've never needed self checkout more than we have right now. Even on full capacity, this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing.
That is amazing. Right, okay. So we're almost done. The security, and then self checkout. Look at the, the man hours that need to be thrown into that. So is this where I just kind of like go to the office right now? Let's get a load of those in. Manage the office. Uh, hire office worker. Oh, no, 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 no. Done. So then, I can't really select each one. Let me do shift planner. Like, this, this get them to put in ridiculous man hours into getting stuff researched. It's a big wage bill, but the quicker I can get it done, the better. <laughs> the quicker I can get it done, the better. Um, okay, we're going to need more to build more staff parking, though, as well. So, customer parking continues here. We'll get some staff parking just there. Okay, we can't go any further. Road, boom, boom. All right, security is done. They torn through that as soon as I hired all those people. There's only really one working right now. Over here. When are they meant to come in again? I don't actually know. Right, build then. Customer parking. Um, where's staff parking? And we'll do a loading zone on this side. And a garbage pickup just there as well. Should we have those like, you know, ticking along, spaced out beautifully? <clears throat> Should be pretty good. Right, they're working like crazy right now, putting the man hours into it. So we get an with an average daily progress of 52.5 hours. <laughs> That's a lot of hours, isn't it? Getting thrown into that. We got the parking set up beautifully too. So because we, oh, because we researched that thing as well, the demand, we can find out. So arcade games is really high. Sprite's really high. Fast food is taking a downswing. Um, is the coffee? Where's the coffee shop one? Filter, restaurants, co so coffee shop is the lowest one, but we'll see what happens. We've got it in, so hopefully it takes a swing soon. Uh, we do have it open and closing at certain times. It's to, obviously to reduce the amount we're losing. I don't feel like we need it open 24-7 just yet. But as time goes on and time progresses, we kind of build up a reputation for it. So, Star Falls. Um, yeah, it's just over time. People do come in. People do come in and buy coffee, which is amazing. It's beautiful. How many hours are you putting to research in now? 48. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Delivery is a little bit closer to, and the garbage disposal and that. So, oh, I wanted to get um, some trash cans in here. So, trash cans just outside. We're getting. Oh, we, hang on. We got the anti thief detection. So, we can see if anyone's stealing. See, what did they unlock, by the way? Sales monitoring, and then security. anti view detection system. Uh, and is the next one, security, unlocks guards. So at least we got some detection there coming in.
We find out if anyone's stealing anyway. Oh, we've got no stock. Oh, that's why I need to build another one of those. Oh, I've just, I've just, I've just figured it out. I've literally only now just figured it out. They should really be going at the back, shouldn't they? All right, I've replaced one there. <clears throat> oh, that makes so much sense. It actually does. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do... One, two, three. Order counters. Um... One, two. And then once they've built those, we'll remove these objects. So there's, there's multiple to choose from. I understand what it is now. I'm so dumb. But we've got there in the end. <laughs> Again, this game is a huge learning curve for me, guys. I'm trying my best, okay? I'm trying my best. Right, 1-1-1 one, one, one we're up to right now. Again, killing the game. So at least we got three places available there for them to grab something to eat or a drink. A nice little donut. yacht. So we can always have sales going on as soon as someone walks in. Ridiculous amount of sales coming through, which I'm just so happy with right now. We really have built up the reputation of our grocery store. There's just little tweaks we have to make at this point. So once we get the self-checkouts, that will ease in the burden for some of the really long queues. We need to make sure the cleaner is on top of things. You see a lot of footprints and trash dying around. But the main thing is, the main thing is we're making money. We're making solid money right now. We've got a lot of stuff. Oh, what's this over here? Uh, restrooms. So restrooms would be a, a good thing to add in at some point. But it all comes down to how we convey this. We've got rats. Where are the rats? I'm not sure where they're occurring, but we really do need to get the cleaner on sorted out for this. So... It's not... The cleaners are something different, aren't they? Maintenance. Hire a janitor. There we go. So this janitor comes in... Well, this janitor can start at 5. Finishes at 1. No, that's a builder, sorry. Okay, janitor here. Coming at 5. This janitor... There. So that's a nice range of always having a janitor in to do some cleaning. Right, we can't be far off now finishing this. 171. And then we get the self-checkouts, boys. And then we're laughing all the way to the bank. Even though we are right now because we're making some sweet money. But we need to then, once I've researched that, we're going to go back down to having two um, managers, in a sense, to whatever they're called in their offices. Because it is a huge wage bill. And nobody wants to go to my boy's coffee shop. Just one dude drinking his nice little fool books. Little star fools. Right, this is freaking genius. Okay, so, right. We should the next day, then, have the ability to buy the self-checkouts. Not sure how big they are. But I'm going to try and squeeze in, at, like, at least two or three, if possible. Uh, it'll then ease in the burden all times of day for our cashier so we don't get those big queues so we can serve more people which will be handy I'm not going to use it to kind of get rid of the cashiers because we want those in anyway it's just another one to get in and like a self checkout is in my eye in my eyes oh it's done actually now uh, okay I won't research anything else just yet we'll put it to play in my eyes the self checkout should be slower but it requires no you know wages to pay if that makes sense so store, self checkout. Right, let me get this right. So I could have them coming along here. So if I um one, 
two. So it's two, two, yeah. So we've got two there for cancel them. One, two. So I wonder how the, just having the, the those two in changes things. Because I have a maximum Q size of five. You won't really see it do much difference until you get like the big bulk of people coming in and shopping. That's when you that's when you see the big difference change. So as there's now three people working on the cashier, and that's when the queues start to build up. Right now, there's more and more people coming in. The self checkouts can just take a little, a little bit of pressure off. For obviously, for every person that goes to the self checkout, is one less person going to the cashiers. So the queues are balancing that nice. It's when the fourth one comes in, as you can see right now. We've got 30 uh, odd people in the store right now. It's leading up to 40. And that pressure and that burden has been decreased. Oh, we're getting a, a couple of extra people coming into the uh, the coffee shop right now too. Is the demand for that? Yeah, the demand for that's increasing as well. Interesting. So, can we look at stores? Food. UK crisp is quite high. <laughs> We're doing pretty good. We've got we've got space for everything. This dude's getting really angry with the self checkout. That's the, I get really angry with self checkouts. It's like please place in the bagging area, and you place it in, and it's like please place in the bagging area, and then you do it like, and he goes please place in the bagging area, and then before you realise it, it's like in the red light starts flashing. You got the, you know the lady coming over to you to sort things out. Oh, it's annoying. It gets really annoying. Um, but yeah, this is now. Almost self-sufficient, the grocery store, to a certain extent. The only thing we would do over time is expand it backwards a little bit to add more products in. Uh, maybe maybe over time as well, uh, move the stock room back a little bit so we can have like a nice row of checkouts, like self-checkouts over time too, to see how things go. Uh, but this is where we now start to progress and look at other stuff. So we've got the coffee shop set up, but it doesn't make us a lot of money just yet. Um... We still always have these demands for fast food restaurant. So that might be the thing that we research next is the fast food restaurant. Uh, get something of that set up. And um, I don't know whether to place it right next to it or kind of give the coffee shop a little bit of room for expansion if needed. Um, and then do it a little bit further down. We need to kind of sort out how we're going to be doing the parking lot. So I don't want to do a long line going across. So I want it to kind of come and bend around the parking area. Uh, but we'll see how things go over time anyway. Uh, we, re we really need to get a restroom in as well. So it might be a case like I build like a toilet or a restroom in the middle of the parking lot. To kind of serve everyone around. Rather than adding it to the store. I don't know if it can be if it can be its own building. So restroom. I think it can. We have the offices. We've got the security center. The food court as well we need to kind of unlock. So the food court itself is an area provides seating and tables for patrons of nearby self service restaurants that'd be kind of cool so we got the grocery store in there sweet mate um my mind's actually now kind of changing on how i want to design this let me know what you guys think to this so i'm kind of working this off building a shopping complex but why if i had like an indoor shopping area so i'm, I'm thinking about having individual buildings but what if we had one big building that had individual shops, if that makes sense. So you come into like a like a sole entrance. That could be the way forward. Damn, I just, I'm just I may be onto something here, guys. I may be onto something, but it'll be very very expensive to complete and get set up and done. But that could work in the long run. We'll see. Anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And if you aren't new around here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.